experts looked for signs of former civilizations, even at the biggest archaeological finds, which may already be from the past. Archaeologists find the remains of ancient civilizations all over the world. As a result, they often find treasures whose meaning and contents are so strange that they can't believe it at first. In this video, you'll see some things that archaeologists were surprised to find after years of digging. Subscribe to our channel now and click the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Let's start our video. 2,000-year-old Roman shoe. The limes were the border between the Roman Empire and Germany from 100 to 260 AD. Salberg and Hessen are one of the best-preserved Roman forts. During Roman times, 2,000 600 soldiers and civilians lived there. The fort has been rebuilt and is now a World Heritage Site. Among the archaeological finds, a 2,000-year-old shoe stands out as an example of the skills and technology of Roman shoemakers. The Romans are credited with creating the modern shoe that covers the whole foot, the Caligate Roman military sandals, the shoe, and the sailboat. Ancient Roman Hand of God Hadrian's Wall was built in England to protect Roman garrisons from the wild salts of Scotland. Several Roman camps in Scotland were built along this rampart, and many bloody battles took place along this man-made border. During a long-running expedition, a bronze hand was found that points to one of the bloodiest battles near Roman Vinland and Northumberland. It is thought that the 2.3-kilogram bronze hand was buried near the site of one of the battles as a good sign. It was probably a gift to the Roman commanders who tried to defeat the Scottish rebels there and advance further north. Golden Cannonball from the Sea When two amateur scientists were looking for fossils, they found a golden object. They were shocked by the round thing, which looked like a gold cannonball. Later, though, it was found that it was a finely polished stone with a golden surface caused by different chemical properties. The real secret, though, was in the sphere center where a fossil from long ago was found. The Amino Knight-like find is thought to be nearly 185 million years old. Luckily, the amateur researchers recorded their discovery and the opening, which may have piqued the interest of others who may find similar spheres off the coast of Great Britain. Callanish. Callanish is a group of standing stones in Scotland that looks a lot like Stonehenge. Stone arrangements suggest that people were looking up at the sky as early as 2,500 years ago. The stone's uniqueness comes from its location on the Scottish island. It's still not clear whether these are still connected to the land mass at the time or as separate Celtic people emerged here as Stonehenge did. This original house was built around the same time as Stonehenge. 800 Egyptian Tombs Thanks to computers, modern archaeology is relying more and more on high-tech methods. Scans, radar, and satellite images make it possible to do targeted excavations in Egypt. For example, analysts of satellite images led to the discovery of a huge burial ground near the city of the Sheep with 800 tombs that could hold more than 4,000 people. Archaeologists are looking at the final resting place of tens of thousands of people from the Middle Kingdom. They think that many people lived there over many generations. The Pharaonic Empire was at its most prosperous between 2030 BC and 1650 BC, but modern looters were faster than the scientists in their search for things that could be used. 2,000-year-old marble ham. When the Roman Empire fell, Romans also lost their knowledge and way of life. Buildings and testimonies fell apart, and no one knew what to make of the human remains. The ruins of a medieval wall in the center of Rome were used as quarries to get good building materials. Archaeologists found the head of a Dionysus statue made of marble. Dionysus was the Roman god of wine, joy, and drunkenness. Marble head is about 60 centimeters tall and was originally part of a statue from the first century BC. It was later used as a simple wall stone. The statue's eyes were made of glass or precious stones, but the Romans took them out. The white marble statue was colored and decorated with valuable jewelry. Aboriginal Rock Art The Aborigines are one of the oldest groups of people in the world, and some of them still live the way they always have. Indigenous Australians are mysterious and have many ancient rites and secrets about the beginnings of their own culture. One way to date the beginnings of the Aboriginal period 
is through a type of rock art that shows a wide range of human and animal forms and tells stories about the lives of indigenous people in the past by using insect nests near rock art. Some of these drawings are already 16,000 years old. Even though some are only 12,000 years old, this is just a small sign of how long the Aborigines have lived in Australia and been a civilization. Deep in the jungles of Guatemala is one of the many old Aboriginal strongholds that show signs of different civilizations. Stone treasure chest in Egypt. The dynasty went to war. One of Egypt's most interesting stories is about Moses, but not much is known about him. Many signs of the form of civilization were destroyed, built over, or forgotten long before our time. For example, Feral Tatmosis is best known as the husband of Hatshepsut, an Egyptian queen in her own right. For many years, the two siblings most likely ruled over ancient Egypt. They are thought to have lived around 3,500 years ago. The excavation team from the University of Warsaw may have found a hint about where the tomb could be found. This would be an important piece of the complicated history of ancient Egypt. Ancient Ritual Sites of Mesopotamia Even in ancient Persia, there wasn't just one god that people worshipped. There were usually several temples for different gods. For example, an ancient site of the local god of war has been found in what is now Iraq. The excavation took place in the ancient capital of the empire, which was probably a settlement for the Sumerians. Inside the deep walls, a temple complex was found that was probably dedicated to the god of war, along with artifacts for this god. Experts think that ritual battles took place in the pit. Ancient Dam in Israel Christians and Muslims in the rest of the world were not the first people to live in the Holy Land. Fighting over cities has been known for a long time. Some of the first people are thought to have merged here after the great migration of the first humans to Africa began. However, there hasn't been much evidence of these former people. This may change with some dams that will wash away because of unusual weather off the coast of Israel for a while. The same structures could be seen on the coast, so researchers thought that they were from the first people. Sacrificial horses in the tomb of Dujanov Chai China's early years are still not well understood. We know that around 500 BC, a man named Duching of Che was a powerful ruler in China. He is said to have been given a general who united parts of the country and brought peace and prosperity to the area, at least for a while. As a sign of respect, the duke was buried with a sacrifice of 600 horses, which have now been found lined up in the tomb. They were probably offered as a sacrifice by the Revere ruler. Stone Age When workers were building a highway in the Czech Republic, they'd found a wooden structure. Archaeologists found a hole. It was identified as the casting well, and an examination of the wood showed that the trees were filled about 7205 years ago. This makes the wells. The Neolithic people used wooden boards held together with wooden rivets. Hazelnut and beech trees grew in the area. The good enclosure shows how Europe's first settlers lived. Did these discoveries surprise you? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.